welcome to an explanation of where the area formula comes from for a circle. Before we talk about the area of a circle though, let's talk about the definition of pi as well as the circumference of a circle. Pi is defined as being equal to the circumference of a circle divided by the diameter. Remember the circumference of a circle is the perimeter of the circle, which would be the distance around the circle, this distance here, And this segment here, passing through the center of the circle, would be the diameter. So regardless of the size of the circle, if we take the circumference and divide by the diameter, we'll always get the irrational constant pi, which is approximately 3.14 or 22 sevenths. Now if we take this formula here for pi and multiply both sides of the equation by d, we get the equation for the circumference of a circle where the circumference is equal to pi times d, or pi times the diameter. And because two times the radius is equal to the diameter, we can also express the circumference as the circumference equals two pi r, or two times pi times r. And now let's talk about the area of a circle. The area formula for a circle is given to be a equals pi r squared, but the question is where does this formula come from? To understand where this formula comes from, what we want to do is divide the circle into equal pieces called sectors and then take those sectors and try to form a rectangle. So if we cut this circle into four sectors, we could try to form a rectangle like this shape here on the right. We'll notice how we put two sectors on the left and two sectors on the right. Of course, it doesn't look much like a rectangle, but let's see what happens as we increase the number of sectors. So using this Wolfram demonstration, let's see what happens to the shape on the right as we increase the number of sectors. Notice as the number of sectors increase, the shape looks more and more like a rectangle. In fact, as the number of sectors approach infinity, the shape on the right does approach the shape of a rectangle. So the key to understanding the formula for the area of a circle is to understand the dimensions of the shape here on the right that's approaching the shape of a rectangle. So going back to our presentation, Let's go ahead and assume this shape on the right is a rectangle. And notice how if this is the radius of the circle, it would correspond to this length of the rectangle. So let's go ahead and label this r for the length of the radius. And now if we take the circumference of the circle and cut it in half, because the circumference is equal to two pi r, well half of two pi r would be pi r. So we can say this half of the circumference is equal to pi times r, and therefore the other half is also equal to pi times r. And notice how this half of the circumference would correspond to the length of this side of the rectangle, and this half of the circumference would correspond to this length of the side of the rectangle. So both of these sides have the length of pi times r, where r is the radius. So let's go ahead and label this pi r and this pi r. And now we know the area formula for a rectangle is just equal to length times width. So notice how the area of this rectangle would be pi r times r, or pi r squared, which does give us the area formula for a circle. So again, the whole idea here is as a number of sectors approach infinity, this shape on the right approaches a rectangle, and therefore the area of this rectangle with these dimensions give us the area formula for the area of a circle. Here we're asked to determine the exact area of a circle with a radius of eight centimeters, and then round the area to two decimal places. So using our area formula, we'd have area equals pi times eight squared, which would be 64 pi, and this is area, and the length is given as eight centimeters, so this would be 64 centimeters squared. Let's also get a decimal approximation using the calculator. So this calculator does have a pi key, so I'm going to enter 64 and then second and the exponent key brings up the pi, enter. To two decimal places, the area is approximately 201.06 square centimeters. Let's go back over to our picture one last time. Again, we know the radius, this length here, is given as eight centimeters, which means as the number of sectors approach infinity, we can form this shape here on the right that approaches the shape of a rectangle, where because the radius is eight centimeters, 
this length would be eight centimeters. And the circumference of the circle would be equal to two pi times r, two pi times eight, which would be 16 pi centimeters, which means half the circumference would be equal to pi times r, or in this case, eight pi centimeters. So the length of this side would be eight pi centimeters. And so with this length here, and notice how the area of this rectangle would be eight pi times eight, or 64 pi square centimeters, just as we obtained using our formula. I hope you found this helpful.